So RSNK Beats asks, how do you find balance for going out? And why do women seem to go for damaged dudes or, you know, if they're low value? Okay. So basically what he's asking is if you're a high value guy and you're, you know, you're living out your purpose and whatnot, you still have to go on dates. But then women sometimes seem to go for guys that don't even have anything going on. So what's going on there? So the first thing is you kind of attract your value equivalent. So high value man right now is supposed to be like this buzzword that everyone's hating on. But if you are a high value man, you're going to attract a high value woman. Now, most high value women, even if they look, so they're high value in terms of sexual marketplace, like they look good. But if they're choosing a lower value guy, it probably means they're a lower value woman. So if you got into a relationship with them and you got to experience what it was like to be around that woman, you would probably discover she's choosing somebody that's more on her wavelength. Now, that being said, another dynamic at play here would be the fact that sometimes women get attracted to guys that are like assholes or whatever. And what's going on there is that a guy that isn't trying to manage perceptions, in other words, he doesn't care like what that girl thinks of him, he's going to be more attractive than some other guy that uh, maybe has a better job or has more things going on in his life, but that guy cares about what that girl thinks about him. So when you see hot girls going for like lower value dudes, what you're observing is the fact that Either they're a lower value girl themselves or they're about to find out that guy is lower value, but they just don't know yet because on the outside, he's attractive because he's not managing perceptions. So what a high value guy does is put his purpose first, okay? And then the balancing of that is like, okay, well, you know, are you truly happy if you only have money? It's like, no, you want companionship too. How do you get companionship? You got to go out on dates and presumably you're going out a couple times a week. Even if you have a business, like all my dating clients, these are guys that run businesses. They have a lot of things going on. It's not as though they don't have excuses to only focus on business. They could excuse themselves to do that if they wanted to, but they're going to choose to put their purpose first, but they're also going to put active effort into going out on dates and not just excuse that away because they have things going on. They're going to put, and here, let me just kind of give you a bottom line here. There's four main areas of life to invest in. There's fitness, there's finance, there's relationships, and then there's uh, like higher purpose. You should be putting effort into every one of those categories. And if you neglect any one of them later on, you're going to have to neglect one of the others to fill in that box. So for the average person, they're going to fill up their week with work and self-care, right? And morning routines and all this kind of stuff. And on the weekend, it's going to be playtime. And then hopefully in the evening, it's going to be playtime too. Hopefully that helps.